God is love, God is comfort, God is peace. God is love, God is comfort, God is peace. Peace comes from God, okay? Grace and peace to you in the name of God and our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. So God is grace. Grace is divine enablement from God. Grace is the spirit of God. Grace is the power of God manifested. God, grace is the, the fire of the Holy Ghost, which is God's consuming holy fire presence. So the grace of God be to you, peace be to you, multiplied unto you, and the continents, let the Lord's grace be upon your continents. So, with that being said, depression is not from God. Okay, depression is not from God. Heaviness, heavy laden, burden, God says come to him and he will give you rest, he will give you peace. And so when you come to God, he will give you peace in those areas, okay? Negative meditation, negative worrying, thinking about something that is not beneficial, worrying, worrying about something over and over and over again in your thought pattern, and those words that are not producing um, grace and virtue and peace, okay? That is not from God. So what do we do? We pray. We say, Father... In the name of Jesus, I pray that you would take control over my thoughts right now because your word promised me that you will cause my thoughts to be agreeable to your will. So we give it to God. We give it to God. We give everything to God. And so you have to come to God and you have to know that he is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. So if there is concern, if there is worry, if there is any burdensome feeling, <clears throat> you need to know that that is not from God. So we come to God and we get rest and we get peace and we get comfort from his, from the power of his Holy Spirit because of our union with Christ, okay? So, again, grace and peace to you be multiplied to you in the name of God and our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. So, a heavy, laden, burden feeling. Also, that is, I just need you to know that that's not from God. And if you are... Um, if you're discontent, you know, if you're not content, you know, if you're not content, uh, that is not from God because God desires for us to, to, to see that he has blessed us with all spiritual blessings in Christ Jesus. So when we come to God, we know that God is faithful. Okay. And we meditate on the fact that God has met every need through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It's not wise to compare yourself to other people. Okay, because if you compare yourself to other people, that's not being grateful, that's not being thankful, that's not being pleased in your lane. So you need to get comforted knowing that God is with you and God loves you and God is with you where you are and make the best of where you are, okay? Wherever you put your feet, you know, let God be exalted and multiplied and um, increased in your life. Um, so, yeah, so... Worry is not from God. Being um, not content is not from God. So praise and worship, yeah, that will take you in. But then there is also, that will take you into the presence of God. And then, of course, uh, darkness has to feed, flee. Darkness has to flee. But if you're feeling, if you're feeling heavy burdensome and you are walking in the joy of the lord and you're walking in the grace of god and you are uh you are one with god then okay the blood of jesus is against satan and satan the lord jesus rebuke you bind you cast you out to out of darkness because that that spirit cannot rest on you any kind of dark spirit cannot rest on you so therefore in the name of Jesus, you declare your victory that you have in Christ Jesus and the darkness has to flee. So, and also meditating on the blood of Jesus because we have the victory through Christ. So, meditating on the blood of Jesus will also grant you peace in your heart. So, how do we, how do we, how do we look, let's look at the scriptures. Let's look at the scriptures and let's see how, what does God's word say about it, okay? Because that's how we... That's how we find peace. Okay, Psalms for 
Psalms 34, verse 17 through 18. The Lord hears his people when they call to him for help. He rescues them from out. He rescues them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He rescues those whose spirits are crushed. So, God's word is true. You call out to the Lord. You call out to his holy name. God hears your cry. God answers you. God answers you. He hears your cry. You know, what parent, if they hear their child crying, will not come to see what their child, what's bothering their child? You know, if you hear your child crying, you'll be like, what's wrong? You know, so God is a loving father. He loves us more than any earthly parent could, okay? Because the way we are able to love is because we have the grace of God to love, okay? So when you cry out to God and you, Father, you cry out to him, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you, Lord. You know, I thank you for your grace. I thank you for the anointing that destroys the yokes and remove the burden. Father, stir up the gift inside of me. Stir up the gift inside of me. I know you've given me everything. I have you. I am one with you, Lord God. I receive you right now. Your presence is here. I uh, I acknowledge your presence. I acknowledge the warmth of your embrace right now. I, no I acknowledge your presence, which is a holy fire that consumes me right now. That is un un your anointing that is upon me. Father, I welcome you right now and I cast these burdens onto you off of me because you are my righteousness. And Father, I thank you for your peace and just meditating on him. Yeah, so depression is not from God. So you need to know that God has contend with, contended with everything that concerns you through Jesus Christ. So have an awesome blossom day knowing that Father God loves you with an everlasting love.